Bitcoin cryptocurrency, is it hype? Is it reality? Is it a bubble? Our determination was that Bitcoin was not a good payment method, which is a very different uh, you know, discussion than cryptocurrencies generally. Because the value was shifting so dramatically. Well, and because the, the, the speed and cost of even just posting transactions on, on the Bitcoin network was the main thing. So we remain fascinated by cryptocurrencies from a, from a technology point of view and just the general speed of execution in the space. I see tons of companies and tons of people getting distracted by almost vanity projects of, you know, we'll put this database on the blockchain or things like this, because people are not really wedded in the in the technical details and, and what's necessary. So I think there's a ton of promise that has not actually been shown in real world applications yet. And while we are waiting for those real world applications, I think people are getting a little distracted by, by some of the hype or being led down not necessarily the correct road. So he is giving great advice. I'm very happy to share this with my audience, but there's a lot of hype and that's why the market was overvalued and it's good to, that we're coming back down to earth and just realize that if you're gonna invest, you're gonna have to obviously think in a long-term mindset. And before you can even do that, it's really important that you kind of educate yourself. And what's nice is we have technology, YouTube is free, the internet is free. so. A lot of the best things you can do, whether you want to get into crypto or whether you want to continue to purchase crypto, is to first educate yourself on the technology, learn about the trends, and even in the beginning, there's always going to be some mistakes when it comes to investing, and it's better to learn with small amounts now than never. And when you finally do get into crypto, as you're in the space longer and longer, you're gonna be able to see the long-term trends. And those long-term trends is where, I believe at least for the savvy investors, where the most profit is made, but and it's not necessarily just an investing. Um, just from what you learn, it could be actually a career, a job, a side hustle that you get into from the knowledge that you've learned. So it shouldn't just be how much dollars I can make, um, it should be, okay, I'm going to invest some money. Hopefully, it will give me a nice rate of return. If not, this is kind of like my education. I'm going to learn, and uh, what did I learn? What can I do to educate myself so I make better decisions? And maybe from that information, it's going to help you in the future in other aspects than just investing, maybe life, work, and I don't know. But anyways, uh, let me know your thoughts on crypto. Um, I do believe that if you are going to invest, it's a long-term kind of uh, play. And if you don't know much about crypto, you should spend a lot more time educating yourself before you put money into it. And then um, and I highly recommend you can subscribe to this channel and I recommend some other videos that I share. Um, but when you're more educated, I do feel like it's a great space with long-term future promise, but there's a lot of hype and there's a lot of, uh, excuse my French, shit coins. So be careful. And I will talk to you guys soon.